Okay, here was our one solution answer um, to this problem. So, so why does it have one solution? Um, again, if I if I look at the graph of this, here's one. There's pi. The graph keeps going, but I'm only interested in, in looking at a little bit of this. Um, graph does this, and it just kind of keeps going. We know that. Um, here the decimal that I was interested in was 0.36. That's probably like down here. Okay, well notice it hits the graph once right here at 21.4 degrees. That's what the calculator had given me. Well, if I continue tracing this over, it also hits the graph over here. So what's 180 minus 21.4 we find that this other angle could be 158.6 degrees. So the question is, could that be angle B? Well, I argue that it can't be angle B, and the reason why it can't be angle B is because in a triangle, we know that the three angles must add to 180 degrees. Okay? We started with an angle A of 42 degrees. It's given, it has to be 42 degrees. If we allow angle B to be that big, okay, 158.6 plus 42 is over 200 degrees already. If they're over 200 with just those two, well, there's no way there can be a, an angle C. There's no way they can add to 180. So in this case, why it's one solution is because this angle B is quite simply just too big. So we can just throw it out. In the other case where there was two solutions, it, it was not too big, and therefore we kept it. All right, let's look at some application problems to show that it's not all just here's a triangle, solve all the sides and angles. Okay, so. Um, I've got maybe four, five, six application problems that we can practice. If you think you've got the hang of this, just you know, work through it on your own real quick and just kind of skip ahead, fast forward the videos, get to the answers, check and make sure you're doing just fine. Um, so here it says two observers 2.32 miles apart see a hot air balloon directly between them, um, but at the angles of elevation shown in the figure, find the altitude of the balloon. So we are asked to find this altitude, I'm just going to call it H for height right there. Um, well, I'm going to begin by just ignoring that height. Um, let's instead outline this larger triangle where I've got an angle A, angle B. This is like angle C up here. I've got little c underneath it. So we could find either little a or little b, right? Uh, let's go with trying to find, I don't know, maybe little b over here. So let's see, I would need angle C. Angle C is 180 minus 28 minus 37. So that would be sine of 115 over 2.32. And if I'm going to find little b, I need sine <clears throat> sine of angle B over little b. So little b is 2.32 sine of 37 over sine of 115. That comes out to be a little b of 1.54. Okay, it's great, but it's not the altitude of the balloon. So we're not done yet. So next, let's look at this triangle here. This triangle is a right triangle. That's great. We know right triangles. We've got Sokotoa that deals with right triangles. So let's work on that right now. We've got um, looking for opposite. We have hypotenuse. So I would say that the sine of 28 equals 
opposite over hypotenuse. So I just need to multiply together that 1.54 times the sine of 28. I get a height of 0 0.72 miles. And all right, it seems like a small number like that hot air balloon is not very high in the air at all, but when you consider that the units are miles, you can consider that, you know, that is about 3,818 feet. So uh, that's up in the air quite a ways. Okay, this says a four foot airfoil attached to the cab of a truck reduces wind resistance if the angle between the airfoil and the cab is 18 degrees. That's kind of hard to gather from this picture because the 18 degrees is right there. Um, and the angle B is 10 degrees. Find the length of the vertical brace there. Um, let's just redraw this maybe a little bit bigger. So this is 18 degrees. This is 4 feet. This is what we're trying to find. So let's see, we've got then sine of 18 degrees over x equal to, I'm just setting up my law of sines and those two are across from each other, equal to, um, what I need is this one, right there, because I want something over 4. So I got to figure out what that is. And figure out what that is, I believe this is where we're going to use that 10 degree value. Let's just draw this in here. So that was 10. This is a right angle. That makes this 80. It's 10 plus 80 plus 90 would be 180. And if that's 80, that makes this oops, 100 degrees. As they're on a straight line, they have to add up to 180. Okay, so this angle that we need is 100 degrees. So x equals 4 sine 18 over sine 100. And on the calculator we go, I get 1 point, looks like approximately 26 feet. Okay, this next problem, it's labeled number 43, is uh, pretty much identical in type to the problem two slides ago, labeled number 40. Um, it's just there's no picture drawn. The numbers are going to be a little bit different. Um, so why don't you go ahead and pause it. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to skip ahead. I'm just going to pause the video myself and I'm going to do all the work and then I'm going to unpause it and just let you see the solution and see the answer. Um, so the answer is just going to like appear. Uh, it's just going to like pop out at you. So um, you want to go ahead and hit pause, try it on your own, and then hit play and you'll see if you got it right or not. 